Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this MPU9250 accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer all in one. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This device has accelerometer, magnetometer, and gyroscope. The uh, gyroscope built in this chip will give you the orientation from the reference point as soon as you turn it on at that point or maybe you can put uh, your own offset and from that point it will give you the direction in terms of Y, X, and Z. And also it will give you the acceleration from that point to when the device accelerates left uh, uh, in terms of x y and z it can give you that uh, so so you know the, the speed or acceleration of an ob uh, object at any moment any device that this one is installed also it has a magnetometer which means uh, it, it can give you and at any moment it, it can give you the uh, mag magnetic field around this or the magnetic field of earth and from that you can use it as a compass as well. On top of accelerometer and gyroscope we have magnetometer here so that makes it very attractive for drone application and for other devices that need to have uh, independent reference with a magnetic field of earth so that is very useful because the accelerometer and gyroscope has a reference point so when it starts from the certain point from that point it knows how many uh, how much it has moved or left or down and that is uh, it will not understand the direction left on, uh, north south and east and west so in case if the gps signal is lost the um, magnetometer can be used to uh, find uh, approximate direction. So this is used in phones, tablets and in many, many other devices that have compass built in. Uh, it will come usually with this type of uh, male to male header so we have to attach it either from this side or on to this side depending on how you want to use it. I'm gonna solder it from this side because this side should be up for me so I can understand better X, Y, and Z, but doesn't matter. This is the frame synchronization. Uh, where it's uh, recommended that if you're not using it, it will be con connected to the ground. Then NCS, that's the uh, chip selection uh, in SPI mode. This is the entrapped. If you're using entrapped to control uh, or entrapped the process, make the device awake or do something. And then this is ADO, the uh, address uh, selection for I square C. ECL and DA, this is DA and CL, both with E is the external data and clock, if you're using it to sync it with external clock. And this is original SDA and SCL that we will use, and then ground and VCC. The module is 26 millimeter, 26.1 in terms of length and the width is 15.5 millimeter and the depth is 2.6 millimeter this is y this is x z is away from the surface and for this is for acceleration and gyroscope and for the uh, compass y and x is fine and just the z is the positive is down so Z goes down, but for the acceleration and gyroscope, Z is up. So that now the pen header here. So I'm gonna connect my wires from the top. Now let's have a look at the data sheet, sheet for this MPU 9250. Here are, there are dimensions about uh, the scale and range. For example, for the acceleration, for gyroscope, this is you can set these values degrees uh, per second for acceleration you can set plus minus two four eight or even 16 g or maybe for for the 
a magnetometer you can go up to plus minus 4800 micro tesla and operating temperature is from minus 40 to 80 and the uh, operating voltage that they have mentioned is 2.4 to 3.6 but because we are using using this uh, PCB module it has an internal regulator we have a regulator of 3.5 volts so stage regulator chip and I found the data sheet for it so this is the regulator the middle one with, where there is three pin is the ground input is pin one so that middle one is the ground and that is uh, connected to input and this is the output I've connected it now to 5 volts show you I hope I'm not shortening it because this is very tight I'm connecting it to the first pin and you're reading 5 volts now on this side this is the 3.3 volts output so you don't have to worry just connect it to 5 volts and it will work fine and again here are the values for a gyroscope these are the values degree per second it can show you at that speed and, uh, and the gyroscope current is 3.2 milliampere and in sleep mode it's 8 microampere and then for accelerometer these are the values that I mentioned and then 8.4 uh, microampere is uh, when it 0.98 hertz this is around 1 hertz and it increases significantly to 19.8 microampere at 31 hertz so which in the case that you need faster uh, data acquisition but the normal operation is 450 microampere and when you go to sleep mode it's 8 microampere and here are the data for magnetometer and it, they mention about some other additional features use i square c or spi this video is concerned with i square c and you can do spi the same way that's not a problem as you can see sleep mode all of them will be off accelerometer gyroscope and standby mode and you can see all of the combination you just select different mode and it will uh, act accordingly and here are the orientation of the device uh, the the dot is at the corner so the dot is at this corner when you see this yellow capacitor the dot is at that corner and uh, based on that y is this way and then x is this way and z is up this is for accelerometer and gyroscope and for compass this uh, y is this way x is that way and then z is down uh, from this from this page down these are the pins uh, starting from pin 1 which there will be a dot and it goes like that many of these are not connected not connected and these are the labels not connected so many of the pins are not used those that have been used have been explained here when they use the chip as a piece as a module uh, PCB then many of the pins have been labeled differently for example our, our auxiliary CL and auxiliary DA have been labeled as ECL and EDA which is external here it's as auxiliary VDDIO and uh, VDD they have been internally connected because we have a voltage regulator and then SCL and SDA this is will be used for I square C and uh, I square C these two and if you are using it as SPI they will be called SCL and SDI and then frame synchronization is the same this have however have been used with capital N NCS chip selection this is for SPI mode then you will see entrap pin and the rest are not displayed for example reserve reserved you will not see those out on the uh, module now let me explain the wiring I've used only these four wires so VCC from here VCC is connected to 5 volts and because this has a regulator so you don't have to connect it to 3.3 volts and then ground is connected to the ground this gray and then we have SDA and SCL SDA is connected to A4 and SCL the blue one is connected to A5 some Arduino has here SDA and SCL which you can connect it directly 
If you're using other other boards other than Arduino, so for Arduino, as I mentioned, you use A4 and A5. A4 for SDA for Arduino Mega. For SDA, use pin 20 and SCL21. Leonardo, use 2 and 3. And for Arduino Duo, use these. When I run the I square C scanner, this is how it shows the address, which is 68. That's a hex 0x68 is the hex value for the address. You can see the address shows a 68. And now if I connect this ADO pen, fourth pen from the right, if I connect this to 5 volts, pay attention, then this becomes 69. So now it changed to 69. If I disconnect this, again it becomes 48. So in case if you need different address, you just connect this pin ADO to 5 volts or connect it to high, the address will change. I will also provide the link for this when you visit the code page. I will provide you the link for this, the library I've been downloaded from this page and then you will just come here, download it, uh, just download it from here, extract it and put it inside the library. Also, I'll provide you a link directly from our website, robojax.com in case this page moves or changes. But there is uh, there are a lot of good uh, explanation and uh, detail for the, do the calibration for acceleration and you can use this one, imu.calibrateaccel and the result will be here and then you can test that f status is equal true or false and then proceed with something and once you install the library go to file example and then you will see mpu9250 there are so many of this which i i would not uh, go through all of that but i'll try to see how much i can go let's go for the basic one when you click on the basic this is the one that uh, i've uh, changed a little to format this properly other than that i have not changed it so this is the header this line ensures that uh, if the serial monitor is not working the program will stop here after that mpu.begin that starts the communication and the status which uh, will be true to proceed otherwise it will stay here so here we check if status is smaller than zero then in a, uh, initialization unsuccessful and you see this text and this text and this and then while equal one will be here which means forever after that inside the loop we are saying that read sensor so this will read a value this is just a text and this is the acceleration in meter per second will be printed here this line that the first line is let me just stop it this line is the acceleration, this is the text, x, y, and z, and then there is a tab, backslash t mean tab, so that's the space for the tab, and acceleration y, and then it shows, this will give you the acceleration meter per second and y, that 6 means shows up to 6 decimal place, and after that the z, so this is for acceleration, I put a little space here, and this is for gyroscope radian per second so this shows here in one line and after that this is the compass x y and z up to here and let me also add a space and this is for temperature and i've changed it to 200 you can make it 100 or whatever speed you want and after this the loop continues like that and now let's open another one This is the advanced one. The only difference between the basic and then ad this advanced one is that you can set acceleration range uh, plus minus up to 8G and then you can set the gyro range degree per second plus minus 500 and here we have digital low pass filter bandwidth of up to 20 Hz you can set different values and here the signal data rate uh, also can be set. Other than that, this section is exactly the same as 
the other sketch which will print all these values that I just explained. And here is a demonstration of this. This is just fluctuating very quickly. Now it shows, as you can see here, the acceleration is zero, zero, and except on the z direction, we have this minus nine, that's an offset. So you can see that if I move it up and down, it shows the acceleration, and if I keep it still, so that is, uh, this is y. As you can see, it's changing. Otherwise, if I hold it, you will get almost the same value. And this is a gyroscope. So this will give the orientation in terms of x. And uh, this is y. And that's x. When I change it, and this is the z. And this is the magnetic uh, orientation. This is a compass. And the temperature is shown here at 25 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching. This was introduction to this MPU 9250 accelerometer gyroscope and uh, three axis compass. Please uh, make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you have any question or comment, please post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply.